And now let's test how smart money works with binary options. I have already opened the first trade and you probably noticed that I have two more trades. A very good day for trading. The market today is fully responding to all situations. Well, we can see that the price is dropping toward the second order block. Let's look at trading view where all of this is already marked. Hello everyone, I'm glad you tuned into this episode. My name is Mary and I'm your personal trader. Today we will talk about order block. What is an order block? Why are order blocks important? How to identify order blocks and how to trade order blocks. If you want to participate in trading sessions with me and receive signals from me, then subscribe to my Telegram channel. The link is in the description. Order blocks refer to specific price areas where large market participants such as institutional traders have previously placed significant buy or sell orders. Clusters of orders are present in the same areas which can have an impact on price movement, liquidity and market sentiment. The concept of order blocks is a certain type of approach for identifying key levels of support and resistance based on the behavior of institutional traders. These key levels are then used as an entry or exit point for traders. What is an order block? An order block is an area where there has been a large concentration of limit orders waiting to be executed. Order blocks are identified on a chart by observing previous price action and looking for areas where the price experienced significant movement or sudden changes in direction. When trading price action, these areas are important to watch as they can act as turning points influencing the future direction of the market. When a large number of buyer-sell orders is concentrated in a particular price level or zone, it can create a strong level of support or resistance. As the price approaches these levels, these large orders can absorb the buying or selling pressure causing the price to reverse or consolidate. Traders will often look for signs of whether that level will hold or fail. Trading order blocks involve identifying these areas of significant buying or selling interest and using that information to make directions uh, about possible trade entries, exits, and risk management. Why are order blocks important? Order blocks can affect the market in several ways. Price movement. Due to the large size of these orders, order blocks can influence the market price. When a big block of buy orders is executed, it can push the price up, while when a big block of sell orders is executed, it can push the price down. Liquidity. Order blocks can change how liquid a market is because they are often big enough to absorb all the available liquidity. This can result in temporary imbalance between supply and demand, causing price volatility. Market sentiment. Order blocks may signal the sentiment of large players in the market who often have access to better information and are more informed. Because of this, other traders will follow them, which drives up the price. Overall, Order blocks are an important concept in price action trading and can provide insights into the behavior of institutional traders and the key levels that are likely to impact the price of an asset in the future. How to identify order blocks. Price action traders usually look at how prices have moved in the past on the chart to see where the market has reacted strongly. These reactions could be in the form of price reversals, consolidations or breakouts. Potential order blocks are marked at the price levels where the reactions happen. Order blocks often act as support and resistance levels. If the price bounces off an order block more than once, it is seen as a strong signal level of support or resistance, depending on whether the price came from above or below. The more times the price returns to the order block, the weaker it becomes as a support or resistance level. When the price breaks through an order block level, the role of support or resistance reverses. For example, a broken resistance level can turn into a support level and vice versa. When this happens, you might wait for a retest of level that was broken before entering a trade in the direction of the breakout. How to trade order blocks. Identify order blocks, analyze past price action on the chart to find areas where the market has shown a significant reaction, such as price reversals, consolidations or breakouts, Mark these price levels as potential order blocks, which may act as a support or resistance. Observe price behavior. Watch how the price moves as it gets close um, to an order block. If the price keeps bouncing off the level, it means that it is a strong area of support or resistance. 
Keep in mind that the price may go above or below the exact level, so think of the order block as a zone instead of a precise level. Trade entries. Look for two possible types of trade entries. Reversal trades. If the price approaches an order block and shows sign of a reversal, such as the formation of reversal candlestick patterns, you can consider entering a trade in the opposite direction of the trend, anticipating the price to bounce off the order block. Breakout and retest trades. If the price breaks above or below an order block, wait for a retest of the level, which may now act as a support or resistance. Look for confirmation through candlestick patterns, price action or other technical indicators before entering a trade in the direction of the breakout. And now let's test how smart money works with binary options. This is the Euro and Japanese Yen currency pair. I'm immediately opening a trade for 5 minutes with $300. I must say that this is the first trade because I'm confident that the price will drop slightly below. There I will open an additional trade with $600. And here we see this formation which is called an order block in smart money. What is an order block? If we have a specific movement after which the market reverses, the last candle that marks the reversal is considered the order block. We can expect the price to bounce when it reaches the level of the order block. Why? because in the past a large player bought or sold there. We expect that when the price reaches the same level, they will act as the same way and buy or sell again. Now, let's look at the chart. We have a red candle followed by an upward movement. This means it's the lowest order block that will constantly lead to buying. There are also upper order blocks which, uh, from which strong selling will occur. Roughly speaking, order blocks work the same way as resistance or support zones, but they are located slightly differently. The thing is, resistance and support zones are clearly visible, while order blocks need to be specifically identified. This is part of the smart money analytical system that analyzes the actions of major traders. I have already opened the first trade, and you probably noticed that I have two more trades. The first one has already closed in profit, and the second one will close soon as well. Overall, it's a good day. A very good day for trading. The market today is fully responding to all situations. As I mentioned, I'm currently expecting the price to drop slightly below the entry level. As you may have noticed, there are two order blocks on the chart. The first one from which I entered is relatively weak, and the second one is strong and powerful. I'm now waiting for the price to reach the lower order block, and then I will enter with $600 for 5 minutes. Why did I enter for the weak order block then? because there is a possibility that we will bounce off of it and I didn't want to miss the opportunity. In any case, I will make profit, either from the first trade or the second trade. Well, we can see that the price is dropping toward the second order block. It's worth waiting a little longer for the price to go even lower, maybe even to the lower boundary of the second order block. This way, I want to capture the strongest possible movement. Let's look at trading view where all of this is already marked. Yes, it's visible that the price passed through the first order block. There was a balance behind it, so it's normal. Now the price is approaching the second very strong order block that will stop it. And from there I will enter the full trade amount to make as much money as possible. Specifically, the second order block is incredibly strong and the price will definitely bounce off it. Moreover, this downward impulse has just formed an imbalance after breaking through the first order block. An imbalance works like a magnet. The price is attracted to it because it simply has to feel it. Roughly speaking, there needs to be a rebound to the beginning of the current downward impulse to completely cover the red candle. There you go. And from here I'm opening a trade for $600. It seems like it will bounce now. This trade is also for 5 minutes. Now we just have to wait a little less than 5 minutes and summarize. Well, the second trade closes in profit and brings me a little over $200 in net profit. This is despite the fact that the first trade closed in a loss. 
received a reaction from the second order block and captured the necessary movement. As you can see, it's simple. Thank you for your attention and I look forward to your subscription to the channel. Don't miss the new episodes. I hope you find it interesting to follow along because it's interesting, right? Write in the comments.